the Prophet told us who 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 told the Prophet that the buildings in Mecca would reach the tips of the mountains. Like who could have imagined that in the seventh century? Tap skyscrapers that reached the tips of the mountains. Who could have, who told the Prophet that uh, the the mountains of Mecca would have tunnels? Either Bu'ijat Kadaim or Mecca. I mean, it's in a hadith. When when the the mountains of 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 Mecca, when, when, when the base is drilled open, Bu'ijat means to like pierce, right? So who, who told the Prophet Sallallahu that? Um, who told the Prophet Sallallahu that women would wear spandex at, towards the latter days? Because they didn't understand that hadith kasiyat and ariyat, dressed and undressed at the same time. We understand that, unfortunately, right? I mean, we understand that. But who, who would have understood that in the 7th century Arabia? Read the tafsir, they didn't understand it. They're like, how could you be dressed and naked at the same time? So they said things like, kasiyat fi dunya, ariyat fil akhirah. Everybody's ariyat fil akhirah on the Day of Judgment. We now know what that means. The Prophet ﷺ said that people would walk in marketplaces, badiyat wal afkhad, with their thighs bare. Civilized people never do that. So that primitive people don't create marketplaces. Primitive people barter. You know, they live in, in they don't have marketplaces. That's the difference between civilized, one of the differences between civilized and, so he's talking about people in aswak, in malls, walking with shorts on. Who, who told the Prophet this? And, I mean, there's so many things that he said. Who told him that destitute Bedouin would be vying with one another to build tall buildings in the Arabian desert? Who told him that all this money would come to the Arabian Peninsula? Who told him that the Arabian Peninsula would, would be turned into gardens and have green? All I mean, it was desert. Like, now you go and you can see these amazing gardens. I mean, they actually have skiing in, in Dubai. Like, they have snow. <laughs> so all these things, I mean, the Prophet he told all these things and I'm just like, you read the signs of the end of time and you're like, it's not like Nostradamus, you know, where it has to be interpreted. These are like clear signs. I mean, the Prophet ﷺ said that children, he said, al mataru sayyikunu qaydha. Like, rain would be acidic. Qaid means to burn. Who told him about acid rain? And then who told him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, about, I mean, we know, I'm just saying rhetorically, you know, that these, for us, these are all signs. He said, The child would be filled with rage. Children would be filled with rage. It's amazing. And he said, He said that the, the, the low people would be everywhere. And he said, noble people would diminish. They would just begin to disappear. He said, how will you be when you're amongst the leftovers of humanity, like the party's over? It's all the crumbs and the scraps. I mean, just look how people dress. Look how people, people have always dressed nobly throughout human history. Nobody ever dressed like modern people. Nobody in history. Romans had togas. You know, the Persians had their robes. You know, the... Uh, all, all these people, I mean, even native peoples had their feathers and their, because they knew they had some sense of what human beings are. Now people walking out, they walk around in, they pay hundreds of dollars for rags. They pay hundreds of dollars for rags. But what's happened to human beings? That this is their state. I mean, you have to marvel at the leftovers. It's just amazing. But there were, t there were days, I mean, look, there were days when heroes walked the earth. Like now, they, they, they want to, every hero they just have to tear down. Everybody of any distinction, they have to tear them down. They have to destroy them. They have to expose them, show how they're just like everybody else. There's nothing special about them. You know, this is a sickness of people. It's all this leveling. And, 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 you know, there were great people, and I, I've sat with sanctified souls, I know it. I've, I've been in their company, I've been in their presence, i felt their hal, you know. So these are real, they're real, and, and the awliya are real, the people of Allah are real. And the lovers of the Prophet um, they know what they have, and they know what they have in their hearts. 
and, and the people that don't have that, they, they don't know. But Abu Hanifa said, if kings knew what we had, they would send their armies to take it from us.